Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Preferred Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hooks tutorial for beginners and this is our part 2. In this video session guys, we will discuss about action hook called init and we will see basically some of the examples of using init action hook called register post type as well as register taxonomy. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about WordPress hooks tutorial. So basically guys in our first part of this playlist we have seen actually about the introduction of action hooks and also we have seen about the syntax of add action and add filter okay so if you go to editor so by the help of this plugin guys actually we have made this plugin called OWT WP hooks okay so we are going to implement all of the functionality of action hooks as well as filter hooks by the use of plugin okay so if you want to suppose use our action hook called init so first of all we have to make a function okay so let's say WP OWT let's WP init okay this is simple a function name you can give your own name okay so if you want to attach this function with an action hook called init so we need to add called add underscore action and the first parameter we have to pass called the action name okay so we want to be init and the second parameter we need to pass the callback function so what actually this init means init means our WordPress setup in slices means actually when we run any project of WordPress so when the WordPress setup first initializes then this function will be fired why because this function actually we have attached with this okay so at the initial stage of WordPress installation we can fire or run our own custom code from this block Okay, so just we want to register a post type to our WordPress setup when suppose our WordPress setup in slices. Okay, so if you go to browser, so basically we have a function called register post type to use and by the help of that function, basically this is the WordPress function. So by the help of that function, we can actually register a custom post type to our WordPress setup. Okay, so if we copy this code, just back to editor. So if I paste inside this function block, and now here as we can see that here we have some parameters inside this arguments variable okay so here we have two key value pairs called public and the name okay so this is called books so if we change w o w t hooks okay and this is called the register post type key name okay this is the key so let's say o w t hook okay so basically we have made a register post type block by the help of this block we can we are going to register a custom post type okay and now we have attached this function with init action hook okay so if we save this file go to browser reload this page and first we need to activate that plugin so if you go to plugin section scroll down to this list and now here is the plugin so if you want to click activate while clicking on activate button plugin activated successfully and here is the custom post type that we have made okay so basically guys this is not a video session about registering a custom post type this is about that how can we attach any function at the init action hook so basically if you want to attach some of the taxonomy at the initial state of wordpress setup so if you go to browser and now here is another function called register taxonomy by the help of this wordpress function guys we can actually attach or register our taxonomy to our wordpress setup okay so if i scroll down here we have several types of documentation and will made programming okay so you can just copy these codes and paste as you can see that here we are going to register a custom taxonomy okay and this actually function this function actually has been called right here inside this action hook called init okay this means that this function will be fired when the wordpress setup initializes okay so basically init action hook basically guys fired when suppose we are going to fire this function at the initial step of wordpress wordpress setup initialization okay so if i suppose get rid of these things let's say die this is simple program to run init action hook okay so what will happen if we save this file and run on the browser so basically if we run then at the initial state this function will be fired and after calling this function it will die by printing this message okay so if you go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that this is a simple program to run init action hook okay so basically we can understand that by calling this init action hook we can actually, we can actually attach our custom functions or custom code at the initial stage of wordpress initialization setup 
And also guys, a example is to understand that if suppose we want to make ourselves as a good plugin developer or theme developer in WordPress, so basically every function in WordPress should be called inside any action hook. Suppose we have made several functions in our plugin development or the theme development. Okay, so let's say OWT. Fn. This is a simple dummy function that we have made. Okay, so if suppose we want to call this function, so basically by the help of writing here, we can just make call to this function. Okay, but this is not the right approach in our as a plugin developer or as a WordPress developer. Okay, so good thing is that if you want to call this function, we need to call this or attach this function by using any action hook. Okay, this is the good or best approach to make yourself as a good developer. So what we have to do? Just I have to copy this function name, and we have to bind with a neat action hook right here. Okay. So by calling this, this function will automatically fire by calling this neat action hook while instead of calling directly. Okay. So this is how, guys. By the help of this video session, we actually learned about the use of neat action hook. In our upcoming videos, we will learn more about more things in action hooks. Okay. So if you have any query in this video session, guys, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session, guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day.